Hey, 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 lovely engineers. So today we're talking about more stuff for your feet and heels. So we already know we have pointed toe, pointed foot, and flex foot. And those are most common that you'll see. But there's also sickle foot, which is like a point with a rotation. And then we have the winged foot, which is like a flex and an opposite rotation, rotating towards the outside. So it's good practice to walk through all of these different movements. You should do it without heels. Practice the point, the flex, the sickle, and the wing. Always make sure you do both sides. You can do it slow or fast. Make sure you get that range of motion. The point, the flex, the sickle, and the wing. And as you see here, I am switching sides, which is so important. I'm making sure I get both of them. You want to start with no heels first. And then you can decide to add the heels and maybe add the alphabet with your alphabet spelling with your ankle that we went over last week. And again, with the heels, point, flex, sickle, wing. That's sickle, that's wing. Point, flex, sickle, wing. Notice the difference. And you're going to do both sides and do this with the heels and without heels. It's so important for warming up before heels coil, warming up before any ankle heels work. Even for your pole practice, we're so used to warming up big muscles. Um, later on, I'm going to post a video about a technique called dragging. And dragging involves a lot of this. The pointed foot of your heel, the flex foot, the sickle foot, and the winged foot. Because when you drag, you're dragging on the front toe edge, the inside toe edge, the outside toe edge, and things like that. So make sure you check out later today for that video on the dragging technique where we'll be going over pointed foot, flex foot, sickle foot, and wing foot. Thank y'all. Let me know what you think.